Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, and I'm going to show you how to do backup and restore 101 using group policy. Because this is one of those fundamental skills that if you do it now, you'll save your bacon later. So backup and restore, good news, not all that complicated, and a lot of people just don't do it, so let's just get started and making it happen for you. So here you can see I've got a, a good old uh, GPMC console running here. And uh, I'm gonna just create a new GPO here and I'll call this uh, uh, GPO to be backed up, all right? Nothing fancy, just creating a new GPO. And it's probably a good idea to put some data in there, some, some things I wanna do with it. So for instance, maybe under user side, policies, admin templates, uh, just I'm just picking some random things here. So uh, I'll go ahead and pick this guy and I'll pick uh, enabled here and I'll pick this other guy and I'll click disabled there. All right, so I've, I've done some configuration data inside my group policy objects. The next thing I wanna do is to create a new directory, a place where I'm gonna actually maintain and keep all this stuff. So I'm gonna create a new directory called uh, backup. Whoops, so MD backups, there we go. So now on my C drive, I just have a directory called backups, good old fashioned, just directory, nothing fancy there. What I'm gonna do now is right click over the group policy objects node, and that's really particular. Notice how I'm not right clicking over the domain name or over the GPMC, I'm going right over the word group policy objects. That's where the GPOs are actually, uh, where they live. So if I right click over there and click backup all, here's where I get to specify by clicking browse, diving into that new directory backups here, and give it a note. Like if I call this uh, my first GPO backup, all right, and click back up here. It takes a second, and let me show you what's actually going on underneath the hood when we do this. So I take a look at the backups directory. You'll see that it's actually backing up all the group policy objects. Okay, that's the first one. It's backing up all the group policy objects into their own new GUIDs uh, in this directory. And what's great about this <clears throat> is that you can keep backing up every day or every week or whatever is comfortable for you inside the same directory without any penalty. And you'll never have a fear of overwriting the contents in there. Okay, so you can see I've got two of them that are uh, done and now all three are done. There we go. You see I've got three directories, three GUIDs, and I'm ready to go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, that GPO that was to be backed up, uh-oh, I'm gonna have a problem by deleting it. So I'll right click over there, click delete. It's gonna actually wipe it out. And now in order to restore it, it couldn't be any easier. I'm gonna simply right click over the node again, click on manage backups, select the group policy uh, that I want to restore. Now, if you had lots and lots of backups inside this directory, um, because you've done it daily or weekly, you could select here, choose to show only the latest version of each GPO. We're not gonna do that, we only have this one backup. We'll go ahead and do that. We could click view settings to see the settings that are listed there inside as well. But uh, we'll go ahead and click uh, restore here. Here we go, takes a second, succeeded, click OK, and click close. And as soon as we do that, again, it doesn't relink where the location was. We're gonna have to do that manually. That is in the detailed settings report. But if I click on the settings report here, you'll see I now have those two policy settings. One was enabled, one was disabled. And that's all it takes to do GP Backup 101. I hope you enjoy this. Again, this is Jeremy Moskowitz from gpanswers.com. Thanks so much, and I'll see you soon.